Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will show you step by step how to import any token into your MetaMask wallet. Now as you guys can see, when I go over to quit and click on it, you'll see this token. Now by default this token is not in your MetaMask. However, in my MetaMask account on the Binance Smart Chain, when I scroll down you can see that this token is indeed in my wallet. In this video I will show you how to import any token into your Binance Smart Chain chain and in this video I will show you how to import any token and it doesn't matter on which chain it is located. Now the first thing you want to do is to simply go over to coinmarketcap.com and then go over to the search bar. You'll then have to search for the token you would like to add. So for this example I'll be using ADAX and now because I'm not sure which token to import I'm going over to the search bar and I will just search for Ethereum and click on a random coin. You'll then see the contracts and this is where the important information is at. You wanna go over to the Ethereum chain and then copy the address. You can then open up your MetaMask wallet and then you wanna select the right chain, which in this case, because it's a contract on Ethereum, I will need to go over to my Ethereum mainnet. You can then click on import tokens right here and then you wanna click on custom token. And you can also go over to search and search for the token name, Ethereum name service. And you can then see that this token is actually already available on MetaMask. So when you click on it, you can simply click on next and then click on import tokens. And you can now see that I have imported Ethereum name service into my wallet. Now if the currency you want to import is not on this list, so it's not on the search list, simply go over to custom token and fill in the token contact address. That's the token address we copied right here. Now because I've already added this token, it will give me an error message. However, all you need to do is to fill in the token contract address and you can then also add the token symbol. And the token symbol in this case is ENS and the token decimal is the amount of numbers after the dot. So in this case that would be 2 and you can then simply click on add custom token. And now one thing is left to tell you guys. When you click on more, you will sometimes see that the token is available on Ethereum Solana, Avalanche and even the Binance Smart Chain. Then you want to copy the wallet address of that one, go over to your MetaMask and select the chain available for that network. Now I don't have the Solana network imported to my MetaMask, so I won't be able to add this token. However, if the Ethereum name service also runs on, let's say the Binance Smart Chain, you would be able to import the token on the Binance Smart Chain as well. Now if there's anything I didn't explain clearly enough, Please feel free to ask me in the comments down below so I can help you out. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.